Gemini 3 and anti-gravity are here and I got early access as a Google developer expert. Posts on Twitter, excuse me, X, have reached an absolute fever pitch, even going as far as employees from Google and their various divisions getting involved in the conversation with various Easter eggs such as Dennis Savis posting in the middle of the night that 3 is his favorite time to lock in, or even Sundar Pichai with a wink around a polymarket post saying that Gemini 3 is coming soon. Well, if your money was on November 18th, as the day that Gemini 3 was going to be announced, you are in luck. I've had a chance to play around with Gemini 3, as well as Google's new IDE, Anti-Gravity, for a little while now. Let's get into what's new, where it's coming, what's going to show up, as well as all the new information that I have around it, some of which you may not even find posted in the blogs covering the event. Hello, I am Gemini 3. I see the world not as it is, but as it could be. Let's build the future, together. That was the voice of Gemini. I asked it to introduce itself and also to come up with a bunch of different thumbnails that it could use in this video, and that's what you're seeing on the screen now. Visionary, architect, multimodal, master. My personal favorite is last one here is Gemini 3 Pro. Look how nice and detailed the reflection is. First things first, where is it going to be available and who's going to get it? Gemini 3 Pro will be available in the enterprise and developer services, including Gemini API, Google AI Studio, Gemini Enterprise Vertex AI, Gemini CLI, Firebase AI Logic, Android Studio, and of course, Google Anti-Gravity. Gemini 3 Pro is of course multimodal, multimodal, which is a word that I definitely have trouble saying for some reason, has the ability to analyze text, audio, video, and code all within a single 1 million token context window. It brings with it agentic coding as well as SOTA reasoning and multimodal understanding, which means that it has the capability to quote unquote, see what's happening on the factory floor or hear sentiment in a customer service call. This is being touted as Google as being done better than any other model out there today. Gemini Enterprise is here and Gemini 3 Pro is rolling out now. It's Google's new AI platform that brings agentic intelligence right into your business workflows. Sounds awesome, right? But here's the thing, rolling out AI platforms doesn't just mean flipping a switch. You've got data sources, security, governance, costs, and if you don't plan it right, those hidden AI usage fees or low adoption rates can wipe out your ROI fast. Now, Promevo, a longtime Google Cloud Premier partner, can help your business design, deploy, and manage AI the smart way. From early AI pilots to full Gemini Enterprise integrations, Promevo helps you pick the right Gemini setup, connect your real business data, and roll it out in phases so you actually see and feel the value. Plus, they'll keep an eye on spend and scalability so that your AI doesn't become your next budget nightmare. So if you're ready to bring Gemini into your workflow and actually make it pay off, head to Promevo.com in the link below and talk to their AI team. Accelerate your Google journey at Promevo.com. Now back to the video. Gemini 3 has held its own against various other models in the benchmark, one of which I will focus on is Humanity's last exam. Gemini has improved its score from Gemini 2.5 Pro's 21.6% to a whopping 37.5%, beating out the previous leader OpenAI GPT-5 Pro at 31.6%. The first people who are going to get access to Gemini 3 Pro will be Gemini Ultra subscribers, as well as those who are authenticated through a Gemini API key. Next, let's talk about Google's anti-gravity and agentic development platform. Yes, if you guessed it, this is the result of the Windsurf acquisition. Well, quote unquote acquisition. It was an aqua hire-ish licensing, something rather. I don't, I'm not gonna get into the details because it was complicated. But the result is Google wants to get into agentic coding in a very big way, and here is the result. The goal here is to have a number of asynchronous agents working on your app and your requests all at the same time, which you can manage from a centralized dashboard. If you're familiar with Google's Project Mariner experiment, this shows up here as well, where the agent is able to take control of your browser, do tasks for you, as well as record and show off its work as it goes. Google focused very heavily on user trust here. There's multiple levels of the agents that you can set up, whereas you can be the man in the middle of the loop where you can be constantly being asked by the agents if it should proceed, if you're happy, if you wanna make changes, or if you just wanna full send it, you can set it onto that mode as well and just let it barrel through on its own and see where it ends up at the end of the day. I'll be following up this video with a deeper dive showing off how to get started with Google's anti-gravity and what are some of the tasks that it's capable of. There's a big jump in Google's AI capabilities and hopefully we'll see the rollout of this model and various forms of this model to various other tools. I myself being a Google developer expert specializing in Google Workspace, uh, I'm very 
excited to see it come to the Gemini app in Google Workspace because, uh, quite frankly, it could use a bit of a boost. And also, Gemini on the sidebar right now isn't as good, so, certainly gems are, but you, it's not as good as Gemini in the app. And I would definitely like to see a lot more integration from a much more intelligent model all throughout the collaborative ecosystem that is Google Workspace. I'm sure you have lots of questions and comments, so please drop them down below. I'll be monitoring this and we'll be working with the Google teams to try and get as many answers and follow up videos for this as I can. And as always, thanks for watching.